Welcome to tutorial number 430, Basic Hydrostatics. This tutorial focuses on the GHS status command. So what are we covering today? Uh, today we're going to focus on the status command. And the status command is really a whole plethora of information that you can access on the current status of your vessel. So anytime you need any sort of detailed numbers about weight, or center of gravity, or balance information, or lateral planes, any of that sort of detailed information about the ship at its current state, uh, you're going to be thinking about the status command. So we're going to teach you how to use the command, how to use its subparameters, and then we're going to cover uh, several of the um, key uses of the status command. So the GHS stat, or status GHS, status tanks, status fixed, uh, status WL, or WPL and L-plane, and even several different options for status that are important. Now, I'm just covering the most common options of status. There are still plenty more that you can see in your GHS reference manual. But before we get into anything, a brief disclaimer. This presentation is for instruction purposes only. It's not to be used in engineering for construction, and I am not a representative of Creative Systems. So this is unofficial training only. If you want the official training, you can contact Creative Systems at the information on the bottom of your screen. I highly recommend it. It's very informative and very thorough. Right, so what is the status command? Uh, the status command is information about your ship. It provides you summary of all the weights that are currently on your vessel. That's your light ship, your fixed weights, your tank weights. Uh, it also includes information about the vessel's draft and its orientation. That even includes information about certain critical points, about the freeboard of the ship. Um, so, you know, all sorts of questions that you would ask. Water plane properties like LCF locations, BMT values, water plane area even lateral plane area, you know, like how much wind area is currently above the waterline, how much wind area is below the waterline. All of that information is accessible via the status command. And you notice that I listed a lot of information there. Generally, uh, there's too much information in status uh, to print out all at once. Uh, it becomes mind boggling all the information you get. So for example here, uh, this is just reading in your basic fishing vessel. Um, not that complicated of a ship actually. And I just did a straight status command output, no filtering at all. And look at all the information it's reporting. It's reporting all the fixed weights. It's reporting a huge list of all of its tanks, all of the filling levels on them, everything else. Uh, giving me totals for all of that. It's reporting the displacement here at the bottom. So there's just a lot of information, and we need to filter that out. So first, a quick recap. How do you actually in, um, use the status command? You type status, S-T-A-T-U-S, uh, space, and then parameters. And the parameters are your filters. So for example, status fixed is one example. And we'll cover that in a second. Here you go. This is what happens when you use the status fixed parameter to filter things out. So look at that difference. This is fixed weights on top, plus all the tank weights and everything else. If I do the fixed command, or fixed parameter, I should say, it filters it out to only tell me what the fixed weights are in the ship. Okay, now there's another, there are sub filters as well that we're going to cover. Um, and I want you to introduce them now so you're thinking about how they get used in each of one of the parameters. Uh, so the way you specify a subparameter is you separate it with a colon. And what happens is that for a lot of these filters, there could still be a lot of information. And so you get to use the subparameter control to control the level of detail. And that really allows you to also start combining uh, our sequential parameters one after the other excuse me, sequential commands, one after the other, to really customize exactly which pieces of information you want to show. Uh, but the subparameters are always the same. Uh, there's all, which shows the full output, uh, brief, which is going to show you a short summary, and total, which are um, one-line totals. 
and this shows up really commonly in tanks specifically. Uh, so when we get to talking about the tank filter parameters, specifically think about these sub-parameters. So here's an example. I'm issuing the status tanks command all, and you can see here it's printed out the full list of all the tanks. Yep, and that's all the tanks, even the ones that are empty. Now, if I issue the status command brief, now look, it's given me um, summaries of the tanks based upon their contents. So then we can go even one more, and I can do status tanks total. Boom, just one line, one quick summary of the total tanks. Okay, so let's talk about some of these parameters for the status command. Uh, status GHS is the first command that I would talk about, and this is pretty much your full report. Uh, this is going to give you a really detailed report on the ship, even more detailed than if you were to just issue status command on its own. See, what this does is it gives you all of your weights, all of your tanks, all of your buoyancy information, and this is the one extra thing that you get that you don't get if you just issue status. When you issue status GHS, you get all of this plus your water plane information. And that's pretty nice. And it looks like this. So we've got being printed out here. Well, excuse me, I misspoke. So this is the status command itself. And I'm sorry, I don't actually have a screen output to show all the details for the water plane information. My bad. Uh, but what you would also get down here is information on the WPA, the water plane area, the BMT, the TC, you know, the BML, all of that extra information about your water plane. Now let's talk about the uh, status tanks list. Now you've already seen a demo of that, uh, so this is where the sub-parameters really come in. So if you do status, tanks, with nothing at all, then that's the same as reporting all. Uh, if you do status, tanks, colon, all, gives you your full tank list. Um, if you do brief, it summarizes by the tank contents. And if you do total, then it will give you just a single line total for all of your tanks. And there's also a key difference here between just issuing status tanks and status tanks all. Uh, if you just use status tanks, it's going to only report the tanks that actually have liquids in them. Whereas if you do status tanks all, it's going to report all of the tanks, including the empty ones. So here's an example. Uh, you can see I've got status tanks on right now and we're only showing the tanks that have items in them. You notice there's no tank in here that has a weight of a load of zero. Now if I do a status tanks brief, we get that summary. So there you go. Now let's talk about the status fixed command. Uh, fixed means fixed weights. And so it's only going to show those fixed weights and that's the light ship and the dead weight. So these are solid objects. So here's an example, um, status fixed, and it produces that output. You can also do a status fixed total, and instead of giving you each of the individual items, it just gives you the total. Next one is status WPL. This reports your water plane information. And that's useful because it also can include includes water planes of tanks. And so that's going to be your WPA, your LCF, TCF, BML, BMT. Um, and it has three several parameters. Again, loaded tanks, summary by contents, and total tank summary. So here we go. Uh, you can see right here, these examples, we've got um, status WPL is showing. Here is for hull. So that's your uh, whole vessel parameters right there. 
and then we also have details for each of our tanks as well. Pretty darn handy. And then here at the bottom, we have, again, this is for the whole vessel information. So we've got immersion rate, moment to change trim, and our GML and GMT. All handy. Now if I do pre brief on the other hand, uh, it's going to again just give me a summary based upon tank contents. But my hull is still in there. And total just gives me my total water plane at the bottom. Okay, status L plane. What does the, si the L plane command do? Um, L plane stands for lateral plane and that reports uh, side plane information. Now what does that mean? That means your underwater side area, your above water wind area, and the center of pressure for it. Now uh, that center of pressure, that's not actually the uh, center of pressure with fluid dynamics, it's actually your center of area. So just keep that in mind. Now the thing is, most of these stability regulations, when they refer to center of pressure, they actually do mean center of area. So here's an example. Uh, this is issuing the status L plane command, and we've got over here LPA, LCP, HCP. And we have two halves to this. So it doesn't tell you anywhere, you just have to note this actually. Um, is the first three, this is the underwater portion, and this is the above water portion. And the way I can tell that is because the sail part only shows up in the second half. Uh, sails don't produce underwater area. They only produce wind area. And you can see now we have totals. So LPA, that is the area. So we have underwater area, above water wind area. LCP, that's your horizontal center of pressure. Or excuse me, your, your longitudinal center of pressure is what I really should say. And HCP, they call it horizontal center of pressure, but really what it is is your vertical center of pressure. It's the vertical distance from baseline. So there is that all, all of that information. Also very handy. Okay, there's a few other status commands that I'm going to run through real quick. Uh, status freeboard, that reports your freeboard and your draft information. Uh, the reason that one is kind of key is because depending on the uh, margin line orientation, you know, how your margin line curves and how uh, the trim of your vessel is oriented, you might not know the actual location that has the smallest freeboard, you know, where along your ship has that smallest freeboard. So if you just ask status freeboard, uh, GHS automatically finds the location of minimum freeboard. Uh, status draft. That gives you information about your drafts. If you have draft mark locations defined, it will give them. Um, status light ship gives you your light ship information. Status DW, uh, that includes all of your dead weight information as well. So here's an example with freeboard. Uh, notice that it is actually reporting the least freeboard and its location. Okay, there are a f two options to the status command I want you to know about. Uh, there are several options that you can use, but these are two that are the, probably the most important. So the FSM option, uh, that's slash FSM. And what that does is it produces the formal free surface moment that was calculated, and it shows that for all the tanks. Uh, the formal moment is based on the second moment of the tank at the current level. Uh, this is normally how the uh, stability regulations require it. And then we have the true FSM. Now the true free surface moment is calculated and shown for all the tanks. Uh, true FSM is based on the actual center of gravity and how it shifts as the, t the tanks heal over. Uh, they're going to be pretty similar results, but there is still certain differences between them. Uh, so just know that and know which one to ask for. Mostly it depends, are you doing it for pure science, in which case true FSM is more accurate, or are you doing it to provide uh, regulatory documents, in which case FSM is what the regulations actually want you to use, usually.
read your regs first. So here's an example with the FSM, or excuse me, with the true FSM. Notice this column over here used to say ref point, uh, the reference point of the tanks, and that's been replaced with the FSM value, the free surface moment. Okay, now let's do some practicing. Homework number 431. I'd like you to use your solution file from homework 421, and I want you to take each status command that was issued in homework 421 and try to use a different version each, try, each time. So try to use a different version for every single instance that it was called in the run file. Also change all of your tanks to report the true free surface moment. And then I also want you to change your tanks to report the volume. Uh, so use a different volume unit for each case. That one I didn't explicitly cover in the tutorial, so you'll have to look up your GHS reference manual to find information on that. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it informative and slightly entertaining. You can find the solutions to the homework and several other videos like this on dmsonline.us. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hey, did you know that there is a magic button down below? Click the like button or even the subscribe button and I will make more videos for you.